I'm back, y'all. What's up, everybody? It's MC Benz, and I'm back here with Mr. Easy Austin on the Easy Austin channel. We got another Urban Dictionary video for you guys today. I guess we just get right into it. First on the docket is called Fictosexual. What? Fictosexuality is the sexual attraction towards fictional characters. That's hey, nasty. do you know Wendy? Wendy Isn't she fictosexual? Yeah, she has a crush on that guy L from Death Note. Oh what? my god. I've known a couple people that like have crushes on certain anime. fictional characters, anime especially characters. anime. True. When true. they have absolutely no reason, they're fake. True. The next one is same, same shitty shitting. thing? Same shitting. Same shitting. This is a retarded word, but it says repackaging the same shit and selling it off as something new. So, for example, hey dude, wow, 3.3 just came out. There's new stuff. Dave says, fuck that. It's just Blizzard. Same shitting again. Oh, so it's just re it's repackaging the same shit. Off as so the new. word, the same shit. Same so, shit. It's, so it's basically what I do on eBay, pretty much. What do you mean? Like just selling the same selling, shit. Selling the same shit. So you could say it's same shit. Just saying it's Well, actually, I don't really do that. I just, I just say use, but it's it. pretty much same shit. Okay. Soft yes. What is that? A like? casual affirmative response that someone can use if they do not want to be wholly committed or if the answer is subject to change. Oh, so it's like the opposite of a hard yes? Like, yes! So it's soft, like, yes. yes. Okay. I hey, guess. do you want to go see a movie tonight? I want to, but maybe I'm too tired when the time comes, so I'm just going to say a soft yes. Yes. That's weird, but anyways. Okay, next one. That's how I imagine a, a girl that's not into you says it, right? A girl who's not into you, but doesn't want to let you down. <laughs> doesn't want to hurt your feelings. Meet space. Okay, derived from cyberpunk novels. Meet space is the world outside of the net, that is to say the real world, where you do things with your body rather than with your keyboard. What William is it? Gibson. William Gibson's novel, Neuromancer, Mona Lisa, Overdrive, and Con Zero in particular. Note the difference between the net of the console cowboys and the world, sorry, yeah, and the world of the meat outside. So for an example, using the word, for many, a true computer geek. Moving through meat space is a daunting prospect. Simstim? Simstim. Simstim. Okay, was a meat toy, which is why Case had never been able to get into it. I still don't get it, meat space. For me, it's meat space- It's basically in real life. That's basically all it is. That's all I'm getting from it, oh, in really? real life. In real life. Because it says meat space is the world outside, that is to say the real world. Okay. So why not just say the real world? I thought meat space was when you open your freezer and you got a lot of space for your meat and you just put it in there to keep it frozen for when you're ready to cook it. And when it's not, it's an ick. Something- Really? Or so, some- actually no. Ick is actually something that someone does that this is popped- this That pops is disgusting? Up, this pops up on TikTok a lot. Like this, that gives me the egg. Something someone does that is an instant turn off for you, making you instantly hate the idea of being with them romantically. Ick. Did you see insert name of crush picking his nose? That's such an ick. Or something like they do, or something. Okay, yeah, something nasty, like digging in their butt and then sniffing or not, it. Or not ick. even that. It could just be something simple, like oh, he listens to he listens to rap. I don't like rap. Oh, he listens to heavy metal. Oh, he listens to both gotcha. of those things. That's a double ick. Oh, he plays video games? Ugh, oh, turn off. We had the word icky, yeah, so we, they just took off the Y. To each their ick. own, True. but... Slow maxing. Slow maxing is the pinnacle of a slow-paced life. It is a term polarized on Twitter by at Robbins underscore Quill. Its derivatives are snail maxing or the Kyle Anderson method. Take your time with a little mundane things and see how much more you will appreciate life and God's creation, less anxiety, more gratitude. This morning, I woke up early and I took 15 minutes making my pour over coffee. Later tonight, I'm baking the cookie dough. I left chilling in the fridge for 48 hours. Yeah, I guess you can say I've been squat. Slow, Slow maxing. <laughs> so I guess it's like when you're taking your time, when you're not rushing things. Again, like doing it at your own pace, I guess. Yeah, just slow maxing. This one's called NGMI, which means never gonna make it. Nick me. 
Nigmi. <laughs> <laughs> the Nigmi Marmoset. Nigmi. This guy I know has been lifting weights for 10 years, but he never gained muscle because he ate fast food every day. He's never gonna make it. Never He's gonna make it. He's NGMI. Never gonna make it. Never gonna make it. Never gonna make it. I mean, in, in the real world, I guess it's like, you can eat... It's an acronym, right? You can eat fat like yeah you can eat fast food but it's like you gotta like double work once you eat that then you gotta like burn all those calories off you know like f -f 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 facts ysl abbreviation for young stoner life commonly used by young thug <laughs> just bought a pound of grass because i'm living that ysl yeah young stoner but yeah is that et supposed to be why is he so cute he's not oh my ugh. he doesn't look cute to me that's a Funko Pop. Okay, go ahead. Nightflix. Nightflix. Let me guess first what it is before we read it. Is it Netflix at night? Dreams so complex in plot and rich in production value that they seem like features length films. Wow. I had Netflix. Sorry, I had Nightflix last night. The only thing missing were the end credits. I wonder if Steven Spielberg has Nightflix. Oh my God. I don't still get it. It's just like a, a dream that seems so freaking oh, long that it just seems like a feature But it just film. didn't have the credit. Okay, Netflix. Get it's you. really long. So when you're having a dream, basically. Okay. Just a really, really long dream. Wah, wah, wah. Shat, shat post. post. Does that mean like a post that you shit on, but it's past tense? So you shat it? Yup, that's shat exactly post? what it is. Oh, wow. Past tense for shit post. I was right. So maybe they mean shit post like when you post something on your Instagram shit and it's a shit post, post. So it's a shat post. A shat post when I go home from vacation. What? I shat post when I got home from vacation. I shat post a lot. Oh, uh, past tense. I got it. So they start posting things after the fact that they came back from their vacation and it's shit post. So, but since they do it after shat, shat yeah. post. Exactly. Go ahead. Multi slacking. Multi slacking is doing multiple slacker esque things concurrently. I'm the king of multi-slacking. I spend hours a day surfing the net, watching random TV shows, and eating week old pizza. Week old pizza? Week old pizza? Week old pizza? Is that like pickle pizza? Week old. Like a oh, pizza that's Oh, ew, that's old. gross. That's has mold on it by what now. What did you thought? I said wickle, wickle pickle wickle pizza? Wickle pickle or something, yeah. Multi-slacking is the opposite of multitasking. Multitasking is when you're really busy doing a lot of things. Multi-slacking is when you're just being a lazy ass person and you being a lazy ass person for a lot of different things that you should be doing at the moment, I guess. Multitasking actually refers to like doing lots of things at the exact at once, same, right. at the exact same time. So multi-slacking, so, you're slacking a lot of things you're supposed to be doing what, at the same what's time. What's interesting about that is that humans can't really like go through multitasking it's mm -hmm. just we say we multitask a lot but it's like oh, i'm gonna text this first then i'm gonna go on uh, i mean but if you're on the phone with someone and at the same time you're typing that's, a, that's, that's and a, i got something that's form, printing um, in the printer that's a form of multitasking yes but and i have something what most people here. say as multitasking okay i'm gonna text this person i'm gonna use the this i got song. a multitasking that you need no effort in doing breathing and your heart beating at the same time <laughs> Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Nightcore. Nicecore. Night oh, nice said Nightcore. Nicecore is a form of entertainment showcasing from the protagonist interacting with other characters in a story with altruistic, alt altruistic actions and optimistic view on others and the world around them. While they may already have or end up doing so for others, Throughout the story, the protagonist inspires them to do the same. Just be nice. This is a really long read. This is a really, yeah, and that's super. Well, long. we're going to do next time. We're not going to read each one, one after the other. We're going to scroll through and look for some good ones. Scroll through and look for some, some good funny one. Body horror, no. Ridiculous. Tidiculous. Like, what? Tidic versus tidiculous again. That's a verb. V means oh, verb. Oh, verb. Tidiculous again. I thought I would ridiculous once. But I had to ridiculous to get it right. America is a is a freaking is a freaking urban dictionary word. Isn't that just found, a regular English word? This text has been found in the violation of H and R three two six one SOPA and has been removed. What, what the fuck, America? But in in January twenty twenty twelve. Read read Doombox, cause we know what a boombox is. You know. 
Doom box is a box of various stuff, often gathered over time. Doom boxes originate from cleaning sprees under time pressure. Usually, it is the intention of a Doom box creator to postpone organizing the stuff in a Doom box. Many people interpret Doom boxes by the well by the well-known and often used acronym "didn't organize only move." Oh, okay. Sometimes also called Doom bags. I really. I should really take a week off to deal with all those doom boxes that I've gathered over the years. So it's basically a disorganized box. What I could consider a doom box, this would be my own definition because, you know, they say when the world's gonna end, it's gonna be doom and gloom, right? So I think a doom box would be things that you need for the end of the world. Put everything in there. Food, you know, uh, first aid kit, uh, weapons. You know, because it's about to be doomed and you're going to need those things in there to save yourself. <laughs> Alright, I got one. <laughs> Zipless fuck. Boom. Okay, this one says, A usually spontaneous sexual encounter between strangers with little or no personal information exchange. The highest plateau of casual sex. Zip, what I call it zipless because you pull down your zipper yeah. walking into an elevator looking I mean locking eyes with a woman or man and without further ado proceeding to engage in hot passionate sex between the 5th and 45th floor you finish compose yourself and go your separate ways never to meet again a zipless that's fuck. a zipless fuck that's crazy what, what, why <laughs> Dream Blunt Rotation, a caption that is used with groups of celebrities or other famous icons that the author would like to smoke weed with. I feel like Master Chief and Bugs Bunny would be my Dream Blunt Rotation. Yeah, what up, oh, dog? okay, I get, and then you pass it on to Master Chief. Yeah, I guess. Oh, uh, so who would be your Dream Blunt Rotation if you were to smoke hmm. weed or something? Drizzy any, Drake and Dr. Dre. Oh, Drizzy Drake and Dr. Dre? I guess if they Drake and Dr. Dre. Who would my dream blunt rotation be? I'm going to read this one just because it's like weird. A Disney adult? I don't get that, but let's see what it says. A millennial adult with or without kids that can't stop talking about Disney. Disney this, Disney that. Including the movie and the parks. Even if they do have kids, they're still way more obsessed with that than their kids ever would be. They probably engage in casual Disney bonding and, and visit the theme, theme parks, parks at least once a year. They are obsessed with everything Disney and probably have a Mickey Mouse bumper sticker and or, or tattoo. One of the most terrifying, intense people you'll ever encounter. That Disney adult over there won't shut the fuck up. And theme park trivia. That's a Disney adult. They want to suck Mickey Mouse good. A millennial adult. That would consider people from like 81 to 99, I guess. All right. No, not 99, 96. Flip I mean. the script. <laughs> that one? You yeah. fuck one goat? You fuck one goat. This expression dates That's as dumb. far back as a, as man has been stuffing his junk into fu- Ugh. What? Bestiality, you fuck one go. Oh, that's Meaning nasty. there are some things we can do that we must carry with us, no matter the good deeds you do or the people who love you. This can all be overshadowed by one horrific deed. What if you fuck one chicken? Then what, would that still be fucking one goat? An old farmer walking through his field with his grandson. Billy, you see that fence there? Your father and I built that fence with our two hands. Yeah, that's great, Grandpa. And that barn, Billy? Do you see that barn? My... My f <laughs> Come on. And that barn, Bill, you see that barn? My father and I built that barn long ago together. And these fields, Billy. Uh-huh. Didn't you fuck some goats once, though? It was one goat! Jeez, <laughs> you fucked one goat! That, that. What do you and think? You think the goat had an orgasm and said, that, that. <laughs> Okay, right, 60 minutes. Let's, let's do an outro.